Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how to query a data that is sitting in your S3 bucket using SQL from Amazon Athena. Amazon Athena is an interactive query service that lets you query the data in S3 using simple SQL. Okay, so uh, let's see how to do that. So to do that, I have downloaded this sample data set from Kaggle. It's a Netflix TV shows and movies data set. And uh, this is how it looks like. It has, you know, simple schema, show ID, type, title, director, you know, general information about the TV shows and movies. Okay, so uh, first thing, let's upload this data set into our S3 and then see how to analyze this data using SQL from Athena. Okay. I'm going to upload this data into my S3 bucket. I'm going to select this bucket. I'm going to create a folder and call it Netflix data. And I will upload the data into this folder. Click on add files, select this CSV file and click on upload. Okay. Uh, so once the file is uploaded, just verify if it is uploaded successfully. And once it is done, let's go to Athena and see how to query this uh, file from Athena using SQL. Okay. So once you are in Athena console, this is how it looks like. Click on launch query editor. And uh, so this is how it looks. Okay. So first thing is we need to create a table, catalog table for this uh, file that we just uploaded. And then we will start querying that file. So to do that, you can click on create here okay and select glue crawler okay so what glue crawler does is it automatically uh, like scans through this uh, file and infers the schema and creates a table for you okay okay so i just clicked on uh, aws glue crawler here and it took me into this uh, screen i'm going to create a crawler here and call it as netflix uh, data crawler okay select next and the source type is data store uh, because the catalog table is not existing already and i'll select all all folders and click on next and the data store is s3 the connection uh, is not required here and we will select the path in which we want to crawl okay i'm going to expand this and i'm going to select this entire folder and uh, we need to add a slash in the end okay so that uh, it scrolls through all the files under this folder. Okay. I'm going to click on next here, add another data store. No, click on next here. And here it is asking uh, if we if we want to create a new IAM role. So if you, uh, you can type in any role that you want. So what it does is it automatically creates an IAM role on your behalf and grants all the required permissions like uh, the permission to scan through this S3 folder to infer the schema and everything and also create table and all those things. Okay. So if you already have an IAM role with all those permissions, you can click this, choose an existing IAM role and uh, select the role that you want. Or if you don't have it, you can just uh, create a new role here. I'm going to call it as uh, Netflix data crawler IAM role. Okay, so what it does, it, it does is it will create a, a aim role with this name and attach all the required permissions to that. Okay, but to do this, make sure that you have all these three permissions, create role, create policy and attach role policy. Only then uh, glue will be able to a create this IAM role on your behalf. Okay, so now let's click on next here. And this is the frequency with which you want to run your crawler. I'm going to select run on demand because I only run it. I want to run it only when I need it. Let's click on next here so this is the database to which the table uh, will be added so if you want to create a new database click on add database here and uh, you can type in the database name here i'm going to call it uh, netflix db and all other things are optional i'm going to click on create so it will create a database called netflix db and then it will add the table under that database okay click on next and then click on finish Okay. So here it has created that uh, crawler here. So select that crawler and click on run crawler here. Okay. So uh, it says that the crawler is now running. You can uh, keep refreshing here. And once that is done, it will automatically create a table for you. Okay. It has uh, completed running and now it's in stopping state. So let's wait for this crawler to come back to a ready state. 
okay so it says that uh, crawler is completed and it has created one table so now let's go to athena and see if you, you can also verify it in glue itself if you click on tables here it actually shows that it has created this netflix data table okay so let's go back to athena here and i'll just refresh this and if, I, if you see here it has created that netflix db and you can see the table here okay so if you expand that this is the schema that it has inferred for us so show id a string and uh, title is string i think release here is a big int so yeah it has automatically inferred the schema and created this table for us now let's see how to query this uh, table so before you do that if this is the first time you are running a query in athena you need to configure uh, your query output location so query output location is basically where athena will store the results of your queries in s3 you can go to settings and you can click on you know manage here and you can configure your query output location um, to some s3 path okay so if you have already done that that's fine you can start querying this uh, table so you can click on this three dots here i can just do a preview table okay so if you see uh, it just ran select star from netflix db dot netflix data limit 10 so it's just showing uh, some 10 rows of the data okay so you can run any uh, like any query that you want to analyze this data so if you want to see all the movies that are directed by let's say vikram but okay so i can say select star from this where director is equal to crumbat and click on run okay so there is only one movie which is uh, directed by vikram but so uh, yeah you can do i mean pretty much anything that you would do in a sql database to uh, like analyze the data so if you want to see something like where country is equal to india so there is a country option here so let's see uh, all the movies and uh, TV shows from India click on run okay it looks like maybe there is India yeah okay let's run this okay yeah so if you see we can see a lot of uh, results here so these are all the shows and you know TV shows and movies from India so yeah you can use Athena uh, like just to run your SQL queries just like any other uh, SQL database so but the beauty of Athena is that you need not move the data from your S3 into any database your data is still sitting in uh, S3 but you have created a table on top of it and interactively querying the data so yeah that's how you can analyze your S3 data using SQL without moving the data into a database I hope you found this video helpful if you did please uh, like this video and uh, also subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.